Hi, welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik, and today I'm going to show you the red flag feature in Movie Magic Scheduling 5. It's a brand new feature that we're really excited about, and it helps you set constraints for your elements so that if you schedule, you don't accidentally schedule something that isn't available on a specific day. I'm just going to show you the basics of adding a red flag to your schedule. We'll cover some of the more advanced tips and tricks in another video. So let's get into it. So to add a red flag, the easiest way is to just click on the red flag icon up in your breakdown sheet. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command K or Control K on Windows. And that brings up the red flag entry screen. Now you'll notice the different areas. You have your elements, your date ranges, and the type of red flag it is. And then down here we have a list of red flags that have already been entered. So you can choose different categories, but once you have your category selected, you select which elements that you want the red flags to be added to. You can select one element, or you could select many elements by holding down Shift, uh, or Command, or Control on the PC, and just click. I'm just going to select Ma Bailey, and then you can select a date, or if you click and drag, you can, you can select multiple dates. I'm just going to select the 8th. And then you can select what type of flag it is. If you don't, if you want to add your own category, if you don't find that these categories are fitting for what you're doing, you can click on the red flag manager button and it will bring up the red flag manager. And you can add your own type of red flag categories. I'm going to just stick with unavailable. And then if you want, optionally, you can add a note. You don't have to, that's the one thing that's completely optional. But I'm going to put in here previous commitment. And then to add the red flag, you just click add. And notice the red flag is added to the list. So now all I do is close this window. Now, if you don't have any constraints, you're not going to notice anything immediately on your schedule. But let's say I click this strip, which has Ma Bailey in it, which uh, her board ID is number 12. And I click it down and I drag it to the day that we set up the constraint. Notice the red flag immediately pops up. And if I double click that red flag, it's going to highlight the constraint in the list to show me what the problem is. So that can remind you, oh yeah, she was unavailable on that day. So I can close that. And if I click and drag that strip out off the conflict, the red flag disappears. Now I just wanted to mention, if you're using a strip layout from one of your own personal schedules or you've imported one of your own designs, you may not see the red flag on the strip board. You're going to have to go into the designer and add the red flag, and that's something that I'll cover in one of the more advanced tutorials. But I just wanted to mention it in case you're playing with that in one of your own personal schedules. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates on when new videos are added about some of the new features. And check entertainmentpartners.com about any new information about the products and services that we offer. And thank you for watching.